All right, guys. So before you, the before the video starts, a couple of quick announcements. First up, we did it. We reached 300 subscribers before the end of 2018. I want to say thank you guys so much for making this happen. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in all the time, watching my videos. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for 300 subscribers. That's number one. Number two. Uh, Hit the Ropes is coming back to my YouTube channel. Uh, we will be debuting tonight's episode tonight, and also Monday Night Raw will be back on. Uh, wrestling fans, you don't have to unsubscribe. It's coming back. Uh, I will break down in my podcast why we are bringing it back. And uh, lastly, uh, I will be away on vacation for the next couple months, so I'll be pushing out a few Christmas special episodes, uh, and that'll cover it for the rest of the month, and I'll wish a Happy New Year video. So that's all I want to say, so let's get the video started. Okay. What's up everybody, Michael here, welcome back to another video, and today's video we're gonna go on a little rant. So Apple, guys, we're gonna get back on Apple, uh, NBA video will be done later today, uh, I got a few things I wanna cover, but um, first things first, let's talk about the iPhone uh, problem, Apple's suddenly drop in the market. Now for this whole couple weeks, Apple has had one of the roughest times that they've ever had in a while. Uh, their iPhone sales have not met the expectations. It has gotten to the point where they have slashed prices for your iPhone. And I got to tell you guys something. I had never thought I would see the day where Apple was literally this desperate to get sales. They have literally got in trading values that are almost double for any regular phone. Now, Apple hasn't been doing too well. Their stock prices have gone down from 220 all the way to 168 That is a big, big drop. Uh, they've lost the number one spot a couple of times. Microsoft is capped in. Amazon's capping in. Apple is still back at the top, obviously, but they are not having a good time. And their iPhone, they are now promoting on their website uh, iPhone XR for 449 and iPhone XS for 699 And these are all the new phones that you could get brand new for 749 but they're doing it for trade-in value. If you trade in your old phone to get a new one. And if you put if you have an iPhone 10 like me, you could get the iPhone 10s for 499 or the iPhone 10s Max for 599 trading value and the iPhone 10R for 249. Oh my god. Well, before we go out on a bus and say, you know, that's a great deal, let's kind of break down why this is happening. Now, before I start the video, I just want to say I really hope you guys watch this video and I really hope you spread this around because I want people to know why Apple is failing, the main reason why they are failing right now. Now obviously Apple will bounce back. I believe that they're going to bounce back from this. But right now at this current state, uh, what they're doing, this is basically what it's all been leading to. Apple's greedy concept of the market, their greed that you guys are finally starting to see. And this is the day that I have waited for for such a long, long time. Guys, Apple has been going down a greedy path where money is all that matters to them. They don't care about the consumers. They only care about the money. And people at the time were stupid enough, no offense, but you guys were willing to pay all this thousands of dollars. Now, why do I say that it has all been leading to this? Well, this is the main reason. The average consumer has finally become smarter and is seeing what Apple is doing. So... The point of Apple even trying to sell these new phones is beyond stupid because now the average daily consumer like me and everybody else, you are now waking up and saying, wait a minute, why would I want to pay $1,000 for a phone? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to break this concept down. Now, this just doesn't go for iPhones. This goes for um, Macs. This goes for iPads. Now, to be fair, we are going to focus heavily on iPhones because that is the key uh, sale for the iPhone. iPhones are Apple's key um, av or like revenue. Look at the way they did this. When you unbox an iPhone, you get ear pods with lightning connectors. No more dongle. You still get a lightning cable and you still get the 5 watt adapter that literally is the slowest piece of crap you will ever find. When the iPhone should be getting a fast charger, Apple didn't do it. Instead, the iPad Pro comes with it, and to be fair, the Pro is actually a decent thing, so I can actually let that slide. But going back to iPhone, the price that you're paying for a phone is almost the same, if not more, than what you'd be paying for a Mac, an iPad. You see, this is the problem. Apple is pricing their stuff to the point where it is almost like buying a MacBook or an iPad. And the problem is, is it's just a phone. 
See, look at the iPhone XR. Everyone says it's a budget phone. It's not a budget phone. It's just a middle-end phone. The problem was Apple thought that, oh, because we put it at this price point, everybody will buy it. Uh, have you seen what's going on? Even though the XR may be your number one selling phone, it is still not meeting demand because the prices are being slashed even more. So Apple is literally just in trying to get as much money out no matter what they're trying to do. And this is what I've been waiting for. You guys are finally starting to see that Apple is becoming this greedy, greedy company. This has been happening for years. When Steve, the day Steve Jobs died and Tim Cook stepped in was the day Apple took the turn. This company has stood for greediness. And you know something? You guys can say, well, why are you still covering Apple? Why are you still? Look, at the bottom of my heart, I'm a core Apple fan. I'm always going to be an Apple fan. But listen, I'm not like Talos of Tech. I'm not like I Justine. I'm not like Jonathan Marsden. I'm not like Marcus. I'm not like Austin Evans. Okay, but to be fair, some of them are actually kind of smart too. But I'm not like the Apple Sheeps. I'm like Front Page Tech and a handful of others. I'm not biased, but at the same time, I'm not a fanboy. I am an average consumer that sees the problems and I'm not afraid to address it. The problem with all these big YouTubers is they have a reason to validate Apple when the reality is you're spending money just to promote another company that will not benefit you. You may be getting money off your videos, but in reality, you're just helping a company become more and more greedy. Now, this isn't a rant against other YouTubers by all means. This is just a wake up call. Look, front page tech, and many other handful of YouTubers have been saying it since day one. This is what Apple does. They are greedy as fuck. Now, he's on Apple. Uh, John is on iOS. And I'm glad he's on iOS. But the thing that you have to remember something really, really understand. The price that you're paying for an iPhone, you could go to an Android device. Now, I'm not saying Android is the solution. But if you think about it for a second, we're not paying for the software in the phone. Now, you could be say, okay, the CPU. But you're paying for iOS. Ultimately, that's where the premium is. You're paying for the software. You're not paying because it has a camera. Every phone has a good camera. Well, I mean, that's kind of debatable. Every phone has an OLED, an LCD. You're paying for iOS. You're paying for the convenience. But the problem is that convenience comes at a heavy, heavy cost. And the thing is that these YouTubers that you watch them, they're literally just milking their dollars just to give on these products. That's why Unbox Therapy, as much as I may not have liked him in the past, I have woken up and said, you know what? He actually is not biased. Everyone claims he's biased. Everyone claims he's not an Apple fanboy. Go all the way back. Yes, he did an iPhone 6 Ben thing, but he was only doing it just to kind of address a problem. And he still is making videos. And he look, he liked the iPad Pro. He never had any animosity towards it. And look, I see where he's coming from. I see where all the YouTubers are coming from. But I understand their point of views and I can see some of their negatives. But the point I'm trying to make is that they're not helping the situation. Unless, of course, you've got people that are non-biased and are also in the middle. The point I'm trying to get across in this video is people are waking up. They are finally seeing the greediness in Apple. You are finally seeing what many YouTubers have said in the beginning that Apple has been. But all these years, we have continued and continued and continued to buy. Talos of Tech, look... I, I want to bring him up for just one thing. He is an Apple, Apple fan, but he will have a million reasons to back up and say why Apple. Now, don't get me wrong. He does say he admits when wrong is wrong and he will admit it, but he still has a compromise. But that's what you call Apple sheep. Now, personally, I don't think he's an Apple sheep. I think he's in the middle, but he identifies as an Apple sheep. So that's another story for another time. But the point is, I don't hate any of these YouTubers. Just get that through your head. I don't hate any of these YouTubers. I don't hate them. I don't dislike them. I like them all. If anything, they are like my idols. But the point that I'm trying to make is that they're not helping the situation that much. Although some of them are, I have to admit. The point I'm trying to get is that YouTubers, everybody are waking up and are seeing what Apple has become. A greedy, overpriced company that has literally milking their customers and do not care about them. Because if they had cared about them, instead of doing a fucking trade-in program to trade in your old phone, now to be fair, the trade-in values are not that bad, but if I was Apple, instead of doing that, why don't you just decrease the price? Why price a phone at $1,000? Why? Because you're Apple and you think everybody will buy it. Well, guess what? Not this time. Everybody's waking up. So what do you do? You do trade-ins. Why not decrease the iPhone XR to $600, $650? Then you could be like, okay, that's not too bad. No. What do you want to do? Trade-in. iPhone XS, XS Max. Why didn't you price the XS at $899? Why didn't you price the XS Max at $999? Then you could be like, okay, maybe that's actually not too bad. No. What did you do? You priced the iPhone XS at $999 and you priced the XS Max at $1,099. 
Just think about that for a second, people. A thousand dollars for a phone. And then Tim Cook goes on TV and says, Oh, well, it's like a dollar a day. You're not really paying a thousand dollars. No, you're paying a thousand dollars. As long as you do monthly finances and if you meet the ends meet, you are still going to do it. And the fact that people are still not switching over, the fact that their phones last this long shows Apple. It shows that people do not want to drop a thousand dollars and they're fine with what they have. So the point that I'm trying to make is people have woken up, they have seen what you've become and they realize that we don't need all this crap. We are happy with what we have and you know something? We don't need it. That's ultimately what it comes down to. They don't need it. So my advice to Apple with this greedy little world, you got to wake up. I'm not trying to say I hate you Apple. Again, I have all your products. I have a fucking Apple watch for Christ's sake. And I said to myself, I was never going to get this thing. The point I'm trying to make is this. Stop being greedy and stop worrying about money. Worry about your consumers. Worry about the pricing. Look at the MacBook Air. You price that so fucking high. Barely any college students can afford it or even high school students. I think, honestly, at this point, you just want these devices for higher-end people. You really don't care about the middle people or the low people or the middle class. I, I'm not even trying to get into that social. I'm not, I don't even want to get into that. But the point is just you're pricing these things too high for people to afford. But your justifications think it could under overtake them. Not this time, Apple. People are smarter. They're waking up and they see what you've become. So my advice to you as a human being to a corporation, but I doubt it'll ever make a dent, please wake up and listen to your consumers. I have said this since day one. Consumers are the number one source of critics. Fuck the New York Times. Fuck the Daily News. Those are just people. Those are just individuals. Yeah, they're critics. But what about the people that go out every day and use it? Listen to them. Hear what they want, and maybe, just maybe you could get more sales. But till you do that, till you get your head out your ass with all this corporation dollars you have, you're never going to listen. So that's all I got to say. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Please remember, guys, I am not trying to bash any YouTuber in this video today. I was just bringing them up as a point. And look, again, I love all these YouTubers. If anything, I just seen, I remember her from the Annoying Orange so I have a little, I have a lot of respect for them. I respect all of them except for front page tech. He's my number one favorite and that's all I got to say. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what do you think of the current state of Apple? Why do you think they're failing in your opinion? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. And once again, thank you for 300 subscribers and goal now 400. Peace. No, I, 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 I